Hi, I'm Amy Long with Red Carpet Report at the Television Academy, about to talk to some of daytime television's biggest stars. <laughs> you look beautiful. I was actually going to compliment your dress because it's gorgeous. Thank you so much. I love the tie-dye and the blue accents. Isn't it? Well, blue is the best color for camera, outside of, like, real green. I just think it's the bright gym tones. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. You, you, you must have a lot of dresses laid out for all of these award parties coming up. Absolutely, because as you know, we can only wear a dress once. And then we burn them. Well, no, I just have a closet. <laughs> like, I literally made my fourth bedroom a closet. I made it my dressing room. I actually put a star on in Thor. <laughs> With your name, please, say. No, it says almost famous. <laughs> That's fantastic. You know I'm real. But yeah, my, my, my dressing room has a star on it. <laughs> so you need to just, okay, it's the fourth bedroom. How did you, roller racks? How'd you do that? Yeah, I got uh, all kind of rollers and then I, I just, I mean, I have all my shoes. Like half of the room is a shoe rack, I mean, like shoe racks, so it's like a shoe room. Then I have a gigantic standing mirror and I mean, it's to die for. Like It sounds heavenly. You know, it is. I, but you know, those are the things that you get as you continue to grow in life and you collect all these amazing dresses that you don't want to part with because you're like, but I only wore it once. Because really, in like four years, I could wear it again because no one's going to remember. Right. Well, hopefully. And if they do, they'll be like, wow, vintage. Right, or wedding, a birthday party, but just not on the carpet again. Right, exactly. Well, I'm, we could actually do a barter system back and forth. That would be really great. I could try to squeeze into something of yours. And that, it could work. And then... Touch Now, or what's that magazine that always does? Like, who wore it best? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, except for you're, you're like almost famous, and I'm like almost. I know. I'm almost. <laughs> I'll be the almost part. <laughs> I like it. So, the Bay uh, has already won a couple of Emmys. What are you hoping for? Digital drama series, and now we got picked up for distribution for Prime Time um, or uh, Amazon Prime starting September 6th. That's a huge deal. It's a huge deal because it's like the new Netflix, you know, like we're the cool hip new channel. I know. I like everything's kind of going online like that anyway, so you're going to have a whole new fan base. It, the, the, the movement has been happening probably for the last five years, and we all kind of knew with advertising and TiVo and everyone setting their recorders that advertisers had to find a new way of how to sell their product. And as a lot of our soap fans know, once they started TiVoing and recording their shows and fast forwarding over the people that are actually paying for it, then we lost a lot of our great stories that we grew up with and our grandfather, grandmothers grew up with, you know, whether it be all my children or, you know. So this is a way to basically feed the beast on both sides. So you can binge watch, you can fast forward because there's no commercials, but all the advertisers have their way. Well, it's good to know that this industry can be flexible, right? If the if the entertainment business can't be flexible, I'm in trouble. I think it all started with like the circus, right? <laughs> We've come a little bit of a ways. Thank goodness for the circus, though. Right, entertainment started somewhere. Well, it's such a pleasure to meet you. you too. Good luck, and I can't wait to see this wardrobe one day, hopefully. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos, and in the comment box below, tell me what is your favorite daytime television show. 